Hello, my name is Larry. This video essay is about the Taiwan New Wave. The Taiwan New Wave is a major milestone in history of Taiwanese movies. It brings Taiwanese movies close to social reality and people, forming a unique and novel Taiwan style movie. It has a certain influence in the world. At the end of World War II, a civil war broke out between the Chinese Communist Party and the the Chinese Kuomintang in 1949. The Chinese Communist Party occupied the mainland where the Chinese Kuomintang retreated to Taiwan. The Taiwan government has used the legal of restriction and the ideological restraint to reduce Taiwanese film to a tool of political propaganda. During this time, fighting against the CCP and the Soviet Union became the main content of the film, but some filmmakers begin to think about the film based on Taiwanese culture. In 1960, due to the support of the United States, the military confrontation between Taiwan and the mainland tended to stabilize. The anxiety of the world has been elevated. The atmosphere in Taiwanese society has become slightly relaxed. Filmmakers begin to create a realistic film to replace the theme of political propaganda. At the same time, film with theme of love and sadness become too popular in the film industry. In 1970, Taiwan's economic developed rapidly and Taiwan's film industry began to cut the public's demand for movies, creating romance film, comedies, martial arts film and kung fu films. As Hong Kong film and American film entered the Taiwanese film market, Taiwan film lost their competitiveness and the film manager and the practitioners began to demand change. They stopped insisting on previous movie style and began to try to create movies that were close to real conditions of Taiwan society. In 1982, a film called In Our Time was created. This film is composed of four stories, recording the real situation of society and the people's life memories. It signifies the beginning of a new wave in Taiwan. In 1983, another three-story film called Sandwich Man was released, but the film was censored by regulatory authorities before it was released. One of the story was called The Taste of Apple, which showed Taiwan's dilapidation and poverty. Therefore, it was asked to delete the negative description of Taiwan society. The regulatory authorities claimed that deleting negative film clips would help maintain Taiwan's good international reputation. After such a decision was exposed, it was condemned by public opinion in Taiwanese society. People do not want movies to continue to be a tool for government to deceive the public. This movement is also defined as an ideological confrontation between old and new movies. Eventually, due to the pressure of public opinion, the film Fragment of The Taste of Apple was finally retained. So far, Taiwanese film creator has been given full credit freedom and the author's true feeling are not restricted by law, especially after Taiwan government declared freedom of the price in 1987, Taiwanese film have begun to develop rapidly and have won many awards internationally. Taiwan has formed a new political ideology that is different from traditional Chinese culture. People's pursuit of freedom, it also makes the new wave of Taiwanese films uh, inevitable event in history. Thank you for watching.